YouTubers, what is up? Hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic as always. Come on. Come on. You know that sounds good. Just that little shabab, 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 zap, boom, 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 What is it? Well, it's a herta. So, herta, herta, doesn't matter how you spell it or how you say it. A herta is a really simple thing to think of because basically what you have is two notes of any speed followed by two notes of half that speed. So like I said, it do, don't think of it as like, is it sixteenths and eighths, is it thirty seconds and sixteenths? It doesn't really matter. In this case, yes, I am playing it as two thirty-second notes followed by two sixteenth notes, but really it's any two notes of any speed, as long as they're equidistant, followed by two notes of half that speed. So you can think of it as fast, fast, slow, slow, fast, fast, slow, slow, fast, fast, slow, slow. Now as far as as you can tell, we're just jumping right into the lesson today. As far as what is this on a theory level, you've got two thirty seconds followed by two sixteenths. They're all alternating strokes, so all right, left, right, left. So I think of these two thirty second notes as one sixteenth. One E and a two E and a three E and a one. You can do it in three four like that. It cycles back to the one. So that's the normal herta. You've probably heard it like this. And that's an awesome way to play it, and I highly suggest you learn that. But what we're doing today is a little variation. It's almost like the cool kid version. Uh, I remember the first time I ever heard this version. I think I heard it with Travis Barker playing in Blink. And I just thought, like, did he just... I think he just accented the two notes that I leave alone. I always go loud, loud, quiet, quiet. Loud, loud, quiet, quiet. And I think the first time I heard this, it was quiet, quiet, loud, loud. And that's what I'm doing today. That's what we're doing today. So we're taking that feeling of one E and a two E and a three E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a, and we're just dynamically changing it. So the sticking stays the same, still right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. But listen to what happens from this to where we're going. So it's not quite as obvious to the listener. That's why I think this is almost like the cool version or the hip version. Because the original, if I do it by accenting those two thirty-second notes, I get But now we got Spicy. It's very spicy. So let's try that together. And what we're going to do is four of these hertas, and we're going to accent the backside, the two sixteenth notes. So the two thirty seconds are quiet. The two sixteenths are loud. One e and a two e and a three e and a. Then we're going to play four right, left, right, left. So four sixteenth notes as single strokes. One e and a two e and a three e and a one two three four. That puts us in four four. That is a good thing. Let's try it together. Sixty five BPM. And yes, you have to do it with me. You have to be patient with yourself too. Just because you watched a YouTube video, it doesn't mean you can do this. You might actually have to practice and sit down with a pad and get used to that feeling of one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Even being able to count quarter notes out loud while doing that is a very tough thing to do. 
but it means you have the pulse. Internally, you feel the pulse, and that will make your fills sound a lot better instead of like, one, I don't know, yeah. All right, let's try it as a fill. We're gonna bump up the tempo just a little bit to 80 beats per minute, one bar of groove, followed by this as a fill. We're not gonna orchestrate it, not doing anything fancy. We're doing exactly how we just did it at 60. And what you want to do after that is slowly build up the BPM, but don't lose sight and don't lose track of that feel. Bing. All right, so our goal tempo on this one is 110 beats per minute. I'm going to play it with a song, and I just want you to listen. I'm going to play it with this drumless track. If you want more drumless tracks, just head over to mikeslessons.com. Everything that I'm playing on here, or that intro thing, and this next one, which I think might be the exact same one, it's available for you on mikeslessons.com. We have a whole selection of drumless tracks and loops, every style, every genre. It's all waiting for you. Check it out when you're ready. No pressure. You get, you get a free week when you sign up, but no pressure. All right, so I'm going to play it now for you, and I just want you to listen to how I start to change it. I'm not always going to play it right now. What I'm teaching you is an exercise. I'm not always going to play it like an exercise. Sometimes it's just like I hint at it. It's not always... So just take a listen and see what you think. So much fun, you just want to keep going. I hope you enjoyed this, YouTubers. I hope you had a blast. Remember, it's okay to have fun. It's okay to have fun on the drums. But once you get this down, start turning it into something. Add it to the things you already do and put a little bit of your own spice into it so it becomes something unique to you and most importantly, something you can be proud of. If you had fun with this, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, all the normal crap. And please check out mikeslessons.com for more lessons. But until next time, go practice.